many years now, in Hana Pepe, 26 families on the island of Kauai have been making pa'akai, or better known as Hawaiian salt. How pa'akai is made is water travels underground into wells. The water is then taken from the well and moved into a holding bed. A holding bed heats the water before it's transferred into the actual bed. In the bed is where the salt crystallizes and forms different flakes. Making pa'akai takes a lot of time, so all the families need to work hard to get the job done. Traditionally, um, I, I, I find that we've been making the salt after uh, King Kamehameha Day, just around that time during the summer when the sun is hot. The traditions that are passed down start from an early age. The lessons that they learn stick with them throughout their whole life and they pass it on to their own children. Well, my aunt and uncle were with the Order of Kamehameha and when he died, Auntie Annie asked me to come and join them in making salt, so I said, well, sure. I wanted to learn to do that anyway. The age range of people that work in the salt patch go anywhere from two years old. The two-year-olds, they kind of like make the mud balls and things like that, to old Kapuna who sit there and teach us how it was done when they were younger. So why don't they just buy salt in the stores instead of going through the whole process? The one you buy at the store is mined. The one we make is from ocean water. And plus, like I say, it seeps from outside in the ocean and it comes up even saltier by our wells. Salt in the so store has chemicals in it, so it's not as natural as what you would find in Hanapepe. Being able to take a part in this tradition is a fun and lucky opportunity. But what happens to all the pa'akai that they make? The reason why we make pa'akai in Hanapepe, and it's not sold and we just give it away, is because we love our culture. We love the fact that we get to stand in the exact same place that our grandmother stood or our grandfather stood and do the exact same thing that he did just because we love our culture. The people that take part in making pa'akai love what they do and are proud that they get to take a part in the same jobs as their ancestors. So whether they're a kapuna that is happy to pass down what they know or one of the young kikis who are just as eager to learn, they're all just thankful that they get to be a part of a rare activity and pass down many traditions. For Yukino, this has been Kaylee's Postal Reporting from Chivas Kamakahele Middle School.